respiration is the process of breathing in oxygen and breathing out carbon dioxide now when we inspire air the chest rises because the lungs get inflated and during expiration the chest falls because the lungs get deflated now this is the condition of the lungs just after expiration air molecules are still present in the lungs but in a lesser quantity now these air molecules exert a force on the walls of the lungs force per unit area is known as pressure so these air molecules are exerting pressure on the walls of the lungs after expiration the pressure inside and outside the lungs is the same now let us see what happens when the inhalation process starts in the lungs now an interesting fact is that during inhalation the lungs do not get inflated due to the air inflow but by the action of different internal muscles which facilitate the air to be blown from outside to inside and how does that happen when the lungs inflate due to the muscle action then the lung volume increases but the number of air molecules does not increase because air has not yet been taken in thus the number of air molecules per unit area reduces thus lesser number of air molecules are now hitting the wall of the lungs per unit area so lesser force is exerted lesser force per unit area means lesser pressure so the pressure of the air present in the lungs become reduced as compared to the outside pressure so the air at higher pressure starts to flow inside or we can say that the air is inhaled then the number of air molecules in the lungs increases so during inspiration the lung volume increases and the pressure inside decreases below the atmospheric pressure and that is why air from outside rushes into the lungs and opposite happens during expiration now to protect our internal delicate organs like the lungs and the heart we have a bony cage like structure known as the rib cage see the rib cage is made up of rigid bones this is one bone this is another bone and bones are very hard and rigid so do we have to apply a lot of effort to push our lungs against this bony structure well not really we do not have to put in any effort to push our lungs against this bony structure we can carry on respiration even during sleeping or when we are unconscious no amount of effort is required to do this so how is this happening well we do not have to push against the bony rib cage the rib cage itself expands during inspiration so how is it itself expanding contraction and relaxation is a property of the muscles the muscles contract and relax facilitating movement so the rib cage also have muscles present between two bones and these muscles contract and relax facilitating the movement of the rib cage during inspiration 
and expiration. So the muscles present in between the two bones or in between the two bones that form the rib cage is known as intercostal muscles. Inter means between and costal means the rib. Now see these intercostal muscles are present on the outside. It is present externally. So these intercostal muscles are known as external intercostal muscles because this muscle is present internally between two ribs and connect the two ribs. Now there is another type of muscle present in the rib cage which is present internally to the ribs and is known as the internal intercostal muscles. Even these muscles connect two ribs together. Now internal intercostal muscles relax during inspiration and contracts during expiration trying to pull back the rib cage in its deflated position. Now when we overeat, why do we have breathing troubles? Well, that is because of the presence of this muscular flap-like structure known as the diaphragm. And this diaphragm contracts and flattens during inspiration and relaxes and become dome-shaped once again during expiration. And this process continues. But when we tend to overeat, this contraction of the diaphragm does not take place properly and thus we have breathing problems. See, when we overeat, the stomach expands and it pushes against the diaphragm. So the diaphragm is not being able to contract properly. Thus, there is reduced space in the chest cavity and so there are breathing troubles. So diaphragm along with the rib cage and the lungs together help in the process of respiration. <laughs>